that college basketball is here. So go ahead and click that link down below and join our bracket. It's going to be fun. Like I said, there's going to be rewards. I think we're going to have a good time. What's going on, everyone? Trust the buzz here if you're new to the channel. I make Charlotte Hornets content. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you cannot tell by the thumbnail or title of this video, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Brandon Miller or Scoop. And, that, and the reason we're talking about that is because a lot of people, when Charlotte Hornets fans felt like, we're not going to get Victor Wimanyama, and we will be more than okay with Brandon Miller. Now, all of a sudden, everybody wants Brandon Miller over Scoot. There is a reason for that. It's not that Scoot's a bad player, but similar to how I was feeling, Scoot might just be not a good fit for a lot of teams. If you look at the lottery, if you look at the teams with the top odds, that's the Charlotte Hornets, uh, the San Antonio Spurs, Houston Rockets, and Detroit Pistons. Three of those four teams have their answer at point guard. And now, is Scoot really that much of a point guard? That's a question to be answered another day. But for the majority of it, it just seems that Brandon Miller, obviously, is a plug-and-play type guy because he can catch and shoot and play defense. He has all the tools to be a good defender. So, of course, it's going to raise questions about, okay, more teams are just going to want that than trying to figure out what to do with Scoot. Now, my thing about that is, for Charlotte Hornets fans, things will change. I mean, everybody was like, it is so obvious that Scoot Henderson is the number two player in this draft when Scoot and Victor Wimanyama played against each other. I don't remember when that was, but it was a while ago at this point, sometime last year. Everybody was hyped. Everybody was like, I can see why Scoot would be two. Some people even moved Scoot to one. So things will change as the draft process goes. But my thing is, for Charlotte Hornets fans, we should – continue to look to get Brandon Miller. I know if he jumps to two, there could be questions, but what we'll do after that. But there's a lot of good players in this draft. I've said it time and time again. I mean, you have Cam Whitmore, who you can still get. You have Amin Thompson, who is still one of the better players. And he would be a better fit next to LaMelo than Scoot would. Not, not talent-wise, but just as far as having two big-body guards. He, I trust him to be better on defense than I trust LaMelo, a man Thompson that is. So, I mean, I mean, you could get the other Thompson twin too. So you're not really completely missing out if you do not get Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller by far fits the narrative for a lot of teams. Scoot Henderson, however, does not. He's a little undersized. He still needs to work on his shooting. His, this hasn't been his best year of basketball currently in the G League. He looks bored. He doesn't look like he's really active. Um, he doesn't play that much, but I think it's just he is bored, to be honest with you. And then it's also hard because you know you're going to be a top five pick at least, at minimum top five pick. Maybe you can maybe say at minimum top three pick. It's hard to go into this season and for the G League night, especially in play all the way through. I mean, he's had actual injuries, but I feel like some of his load management, I just wouldn't be, if you're the Charlotte Hornets, I just, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned with, yeah, I'm bummed that we may not get Brandon Miller. Um, but I mean, if you get Scoot Henderson, you can find a way to make it work. That's another thing to think about. Scoot Henderson is a, still a generational talent. It's just harder to fit him in certain places. But if you're the Charlotte Hornets and you somehow get three, and to my knowledge, they can't trade that pick, I don't see the problem with taking Scoot and having him be because he is an agitator on defense. He may be 6'2", but he is not going to let that define him. I mean, it's a little different with Terry Rozier. I know you don't want to run that back again. I don't either, but I'm just saying you have to take the best player. And then what the Charlotte Hornets should do is surround those two guys with guys who can defend the perimeter. It It is just about team building. And they haven't done that much around since LaMelo's been here. They haven't got guys who really compliment LaMelo. They've gotten guys who they feel like would be good overall, but you have one star player right now. You need to compliment him. Now, is Scoot Henderson the best compliment to LaMelo? No. But Scoot, Scoot I mean, is still a generational talent. And, I, I mean, we could also see a men jump over Scoot if, if, that, so, if that many teams are concerned, to be honest. Or there could be a team trade up. The Hornets aren't able to trade down, but there are other teams that can trade up to jump the Hornets or whatever the case may be. I just think that... The world is not over if we don't get Brandon Miller. It, that's kind of my point of this video. It, it's just not. I would like Brandon Miller. He's a better fit. He's probably the best fit. And it sucks that now as soon as we start to accept we may get Brandon Miller, it seems that he may go two overall. But 
like I said, I just wouldn't be too concerned. I mean, Amin Thompson is just as talented. I think he just plays in a bad league. I think if he was playing college basketball right now, I think people are talking about him as well. So if you end up getting Amin Thompson, I promise you it's not the worst thing in the world. Would he, Brandon Miller be a better fit? Of course. That's what it comes down to. But if you're the Charlotte Hornets, you have one star player. You have one player you know that's going to be great, and then maybe Mark Williams. After that, your roster you don't know. You don't know what Bryce McGowan is going to be yet. There's just so many unanswered questions. And I think you got to go with what you know will work. Now, like I said, Brendan Miller, of course, you know that's going to work. But if you don't get him, I'm not, I don't think you should miss out on good players just because you didn't get that one guy. I don't think that just because you got Brandon Miller, you should be just, oh, well, now our draft is done for. No, there's a lot of guys in this draft that can compliment LaMelo very well. I mean, Thompson's one of them. I think Scoop can still do that. But overall, I just wouldn't be too concerned. If you miss out on Brandon Miller, if we just so happen to miss out on Brandon Miller, I think there's a lot of good players that can still help this team. So anyway, that does it for this video. Um, But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.